my aunt died and I was given the choice by my boss to attend her funeral or be fired. My aunt died a few weeks ago. I had a part-time job 20 hours a week on top of my regular job. When I told my part-time job I wasn't coming in and why, my boss told me to choose my priority but if it wasn't my job, I'd be terminated. I told him to terminate me, threw my smock at him, and walked out. The line of customers in line thought it was a joke until I really left. Upon my return home, I realized I had at least 20 text messages and a few voicemail messages asking me to come back. I responded to one stating I chose my priority and it wasn't him. It was probably funnier to me in person but I thought I'd share. You will find another job. You can't attend her funeral twice. I'll fight your boss. I worked at a fancy restaurant once. When I was hired, I told them I would be in a wedding party over the summer and needed off. Fast forward to that weekend, he told me to work it or never come back. I was in the wedding, not a guest quit on the spot after reminding him what he agreed to when I was hired. Owners don't care. Reminds me of a co-worker whose five-month-old kid was hospitalized BC of shaken baby abuser is in jail for at least two more years, and kid is five years old and healthy. Our job told her she had to prioritize work over going to the hospital while her child had brain surgery. Baby ended up not needing it thank God, but she left on the spot and I left shortly after, and I heard a few other parents who knew about the situation left too. Absolutely disgusting, how could anyone with a conscience say something like that? If your business can't run without a part-time employee for a day or two, that employee is highly underpaid. Telling him you chose your priority was the perfect response. There's really nothing else to say unless you want to tell him he faffo just to rub it in. A friend of mine worked part-time at an escape room place last summer. She had to drive her husband to the ER due to chest pains. My friend texted her boss and let her know that she couldn't make it in because she was with her husband at the ER. Her boss responded that she needed to come in and have someone else go to the ER with her husband because they were short-staffed. My friend quit on the spot. Boss never thought to think that maybe her own attitude may be a reason for why they were short-staffed. Now make it public in your area what this douche did. If it's a nationwide chain, make it public to the world. Your title had me confused. I thought he was forcing you to attend the funeral and you didn't want to. The real story is actually much worse. Get fired collect unemployment. I didn't realize I was so critical to your operation of course I'll come back. Right after we discuss my raise. I do not understand these stupid companies that think they can pay next to nothing and still be a priority in people's lives. They want slaves. They deserve to have no employees. The only reasonable way to force someone to work when they have life things is to offer them so much money they can't decide which thing they'd rather do, not threaten someone with firing. Too many people in the comments are making huge mistakes. When your boss gives you an ultimatum you don't plan to follow don't quit. Force them to follow through that way you get unemployment too. When you quit it's a benefit to them since it's of your own volition. The gall to call text 20x after being called on your bluff. These people really think the power to fire makes them kings until they have to keep their own business afloat without us. That's how you do it. Why the hell would you go back to a place like that? Thumbs up sign. Show back up for your next scheduled shift after the funeral, make them fire you then collect unemployment. Any business that thinks they should be more important than our own lives is fucking delusional. And not only do they not deserve to exist, we have a responsibility to make sure those places stop existing because they're happy to steal from workers all damn day long. They don't deserve to operate with so little respect for human life while depending on it for their profit margins. I worked for a boss who docked a co-worker for missing a few days to attend to her daughter's funeral. Her daughter suffered from anorexia which eventually proved fatal. My co-worker had used up her vacation time supporting her during one crisis or another. I lost all respect for the boss at that time. Eventually, I became a manager for a few different companies and have violated company policy so that my people can get extra paid time off in a family crisis. 
I haven't been called out on it yet. The stupefying shock of narcissists being woken up from the belief that they alone exist is a beautiful thing and one I also relish. I'm very sorry for your loss. I was fired by my company after getting full permission to see my dying father, only for me to find out I was fired the day he died and let known about my firing during his memorial. I'm currently suing the ever-loving shit out of them and I hope I can at least make them hurt. Fuck around status found out. He fucked around. He found out. Good for you. When I was born, my father was given the option of seeing me at the hospital or losing his job. My father chose me. The company he worked for maybe 10 people collapsed months later because my father was a specialist in a small community, not easily replaced. The beauty of a malicious compliance, my sincere condolences. Way to fucking go. Obviously he was bluffing and is now reeling to find your replacement. Most places have bereavement clauses so I'd call your HR department and provide that information, also if you qualify for FMLA that would have covered you. Never walk out, cause now they can deny you any benefits or unemployment and now if you try to sue them you can't, as they will say you made this decision. You may keep said information like the voicemail and use it and argue that you were terminated and luckily that may save you on that end. Sorry about your aunt. Wherever we go she's looking on having a great laugh face with tears of joy plus your story will be told around the break room for ages, why a legend. Wow is this America. From this group alone I've read some people are treated terribly in their workplace. In my 24 years of working I think I'd have a body count of at least 5 ex-bosses. Glad the UK still has some rights in the workplace. You did exactly right. I had an employer deny me bereavement leave because I hadn't been working there long enough to qualify. I ended up taking less time out unpaid than I would have otherwise. Huge regret of mine, your loved ones are the most important. With all the let them fire you folks, it's usually good advice, but in this particular case I say fuck em. Especially since you have another job. It's a bit late to pretend you didn't quit, anyway. I'm sorry for your loss. I relate to your story because last year on Valentine's my ex-fiancé and mother of my three children died. My work begrudged every hour I was away, I had to move all her stuff, start looking for a new apartment because the government wasn't going to give me my own kids until I moved into a bigger apartment, and the day of viewing of the body was the last straw, they wanted me to come in right after. I didn't, and I quit the next day, the day I quit, management chat which I was still a part of went wild talking shit about me. Just reinforced my decision. Why threaten something you can't carry out thinking the person doesn't have the stones to do it what a spunk trumpet? Ah, uh, that is so heartless. I'm very sorry for your loss, op. Twice I had to fight to get time off to be with my grandparents after they had surgery. My employer was basically saying it's more important to be there for your family members when they are dead than when they are alive and need you. Made me so mad. Always call this bluff when your employer tries to pick your employment against your family life. You can always get a new job. Getting a new family is a bit harder. Toxic bosses hate it when you call their bluffs. Call them every time. Attend her funeral or be fired. Well, I don't want to be fired, so I'll attend the funeral. I had a boss keep bothering me about coming in on my day off and I had told him multiple times I'm in class. He said okay but your education should not matter. Work is your priority. Either you come in or you will be removed from the schedule. I didn't respond and he saw me the next day and he felt bad. I didn't come in but it was my work schedule. When my partner was dying from terminal cancer, my employer of 37 years wouldn't allow me to take off time for his care, even though I had 6-7 weeks of PTO built up. So, I quit to care of his needs. He was far more important to me than my shit employer. Sounds like he regretted bluffing. Hopefully next time he'll treat his employees like human beings rather than equipment that he owns. Good on you for standing your ground. This needs to happen more if we ever want to see change, but I know not everyone can just do that.